Nick, first to you. After Russia urged the U.S. to avoid taking military action, now we have this taunt on Twitter, Trump again saying, get ready, Russia, they will be coming. Nick, it, it, does this bring us closer to military action in Syria? Um, it seems to indicate uh, that President Trump uh, intends for that to happen, despite the fact that he came to office saying that he wouldn't telegraph his military moves in advance and even, even hinted at that just a couple of days ago, saying that he wasn't going to say in advance what he was going to do. But this seems to very clearly do that. Maria Zakharova, the uh, foreign ministry spokeswoman here, has taken to her Facebook page just minutes ago following President Trump's tweets to respond to President Trump talking about smart missiles flying Russia had better be ready she said those smart missiles should be fired at the terrorists not the uh, legitimate government of Syria and then goes on to suggest in the same Facebook posting um, that perhaps what the United States is intending to do here is to obliterate evidence of on the ground of what Russia says is a chemical weapons fabrication uh, she says that uh, she's implying that the US missile st strikes would hit the area of Duma, where international uh, chemical weapons inspectors are due to go in coming days, and the intent of the U.S. missile strike she's implying is to uh, destroy any evidence there. We've also, however, heard from Dmitry Peskov, uh, President Putin's spokesman. He has been taking a slightly, um, perhaps, uh, drawn back, quieter approach to this. It was before President Trump's uh, uh, tr tweets, however. Um, he said he didn't want to get drawn into a conversation about what might happen if U.S. missiles were to fly towards Syria. I mean, he didn't want to follow up or amplify on what the uh, uh, Russian ambassador to Lebanon had said. But he did also talk about the need to sort of slow things down and try to calm the current situation.